Okay, good day everybody. Uh, welcome to the Family Bible Study. Uh, last time in chapter, at the end of chapter 20, um, if you remember, uh, Abraham had prayed for Abimelech because of the misunderstanding with Sarah, Abram's, Abraham's uh, wife, and also his um, half-sister. Um, and the Lord had uh, closed up all the wombs of Abimelech's house because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. And at the end of chapter 20, Abraham had prayed for uh, Abimelech, and God had opened up the wombs of Abimelech's house again. So we're going to be in chapter 21 of the book of Genesis. Um, God, I pray that you open eyes, open ears this day. Uh, bring your children out of confusion, Father, um, and out of darkness. Book of Genesis, chapter 21, verse 1, and it reads, And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, or the Lord came down and put a soul in Sarah's womb. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he, has, as he had spoken. Verse 2. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham, and, and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And this is how it is. If God says something, uh, he's going to bring it to pass. Verse 3, And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac, meaning laughter. Uh, and if you'll remember, this is because both Abraham and Sarah laughed in their minds when God had said he was going to uh, bear them a son in their old age. Verse 4, and Abraham circumcised his son Isaac, being eight days old, as God had commanded him. Verse 5. Uh, in this circumcision, this was the covenant um, that God had made. Verse 5. And Abraham was an hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. Verse 6. And Sarah said... God hath made me to laugh, so that all that will hear that so that all that hear will laugh with me. Verse seven. And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? Question. For I have borne him a son in his old age. Verse eight. And the child grew and was weaned, weaned off of breast milk. And Abraham made a great feast the same day Isaac was weaned. Verse 9. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, this Hagar being uh, Sarah's um, mistress that she took with her out of Egypt when Abraham and Sarah left Egypt. When she had born unto Abraham, mock, mocking. Verse 10. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even Isaac. Verse 11. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son, or very distressing to Abraham. Verse 12. And God said unto Abraham, let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad and because of thy bondwoman. In all that Sarah hath said unto thee, hearken unto her voice. For in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Verse 13. And also of the son of the, of the bondswoman will I make a nation, because he is thy seed. God having promised to Abraham that he would multiply uh, his offspring as uh, the sands, the number of the sands of the sea, pretty much meaning innumerable. Verse 14, And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water, or a skin of water, they didn't have bottles at this time, and gave it unto Hagar, putting it in her sh shoulder, 
and the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered into the wilderness of Beersheba. Verse 15. And the water was spent in the bottle, or it was empty or used up. And she cast the child under one of the shrubs, or she took him and placed him under one of the shrubs. Verse 16. And she went and sat her down over against him a good way off, as it were a bowshot, or the distance of a bowshot. For she said, Let me not see it the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lift up her voice and wept. Verse 17. And God heard the voice of the lad, and the angel of God called unto Hagar, the angel of God being uh, the Lord Jesus Christ or the very very presence of God um, in angelic form. And the angel of God called unto Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, what aileth thee, Hagar? Question. Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Verse 18. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thine hand. For I will make him a great nation. And he did, Ishmael being the son of Hagar, uh, and the Ishmaelites are the Arabic peoples of today so he sure did make them a great nation verse 19 and God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water and she went and filled the bottle filled the bottle with water or the skin with water and gave the lad drink and God was verse 20 and God was with the lad and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness and became an archer. Verse 21. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran. And his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. Verse 22. This being fitting because um, Hagar was from Egypt. Verse 22. And it came to pass at that time that Abimelech and Philcal, the chief captain of his host, spake unto Abraham, saying, God is with thee in all that thou doest. Verse 23. Now therefore swear unto me here by God that thou wilt not deal falsely with me, nor with my son, or my offspring, or, nor my posterity, nor with my son's son, but according to the kindness that I have done unto thee, thou shalt do unto me into the land wherein thou hast sojourned, or into the land where thou hast journeyed. Verse 24, And Abraham said, I will swear. Verse 25, And Abraham reproved Abimelech because of a well of water, which Abimelech's servants had violently taken away. Verse 26, And Abimelech said, I wot not who hath done this thing, Neither didst thou tell me, neither yet heard I of it, but today. Abimelech saying he, he doesn't know what Abraham's talking about. He had nothing to do with this. Uh, 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 Abimelech's servants having taken the well of water away from violently away from Abraham. Verse 27. And Abraham took sheep and oxen and gave them unto Abimelech. And both of them made a covenant, or a treaty. Verse 28. And Abraham set seven ewe lambs of the flock by themselves. This number seven um, in biblical numerics meaning spiritual completeness. Verse 29. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What mean these seven ewe lambs which thou hast set by themselves? Question. Verse 30, and he said, For these seven ewe lambs shalt thou take of my hand, this is Abraham speaking, that they may be a witness unto me that I have digged this well. 
Abraham pretty much uh, giving Abimelech these seven lambs for Abimelech allowing him to uh, dig the well. Verse 31. Wherefore he called the place Ber Ber Beersheba. This word Beersheba means the well of the oath or the well of the seven. Because they were both, because they both, because, excuse me, because there they swear both of them. Verse 32. Thus made they a covenant at Beersheba. And Abimelech rose up, and Philcal, the chief captain of his host, and they returned into the land of the Philistines. Verse 33. And Abraham planted a grove, or a grove of tamarisk trees, and Abraham planted a grove in Beersheba, and called there on the name of the Lord, the everlasting God. Verse 34. And Abraham sojourned in the Philistines' land many days. Okay, that's where we're going to stop for today. Um, I love you because you love studying God's Word chapter by chapter and verse by verse. Uh, more importantly than that, God loves you for it. Um, and if, if you're looking for people's approval... Uh, Look more so for God's approval. And when you study His Word and love Him, uh, blessings will follow. That, that's just a fact. Um, don't miss the next lecture. See you guys next time.